All right, good morning from Ikoma, Japan. Isn't it beautiful? Ikoma is halfway between Osaka and Nara, and today I have a very strange adventure to do here. Up here on Ikoma Mountain, there is, at the very top, there is some kind of amusement park, and I never hear anybody talk about it, but apparently it's there and it's open, this like weird, hidden, mountaintop amusement park, and the way to get there is Japan's oldest cable car. The cable car leaves every 20 minutes from this station, which is called Tori Imai. Five hundred yen to get to the top. The cable car is operated by Kintetsu, a major train company here, but train passes aren't accepted, so I had to buy paper tickets. On the touch screen, I chose the destination, round trip, one adult, put in the money. Put in the money. Put in the money. Come on. And got the tickets. Each car has its own unique decorations and name. This first part of the line is served by a dog and a cat. I got this one. Say hello to Mike the cat car. All right, here goes nothing. So, not only is this the oldest uh, cable car in Japan, but it's the only one that has a double track. Uh, most cable cars just have one track, and if the two going in opposite directions need to pass each other, there's a little loop section where they both go out to the sides and then join back up. Anyway, this is the only one in Japan that has a double track, but it's only right here. Technically, although this whole thing is only two kilometers long, this is actually technically two different lines. So we go from the first station to the next station, That's this is the double track part, and then there, from there to the top, is a whole other, technically, a separate line. I don't know if we have to get off this train and uh, this cable car and change to a new one, that would be kind of silly, but hey, it already looks silly, so let's see what happens. Okay, looks like we're all getting off here at Hozanji, the second, the first, the second, the first stop, the second station. I must say, there are way more people on here than I thought. I don't know why these people are going to the top. I don't think it's because of the amusement park. I think it's just a place to go to walk around, maybe? So, got to find a different train, different cable car, and go to the top, I think. That is what happens. You change to a different cable car for the rest of the journey. Most passengers, actually, were only going as far as this station. I think they were visiting the temple here, and or going hiking. An old sign in this station, full of its own charming character, proudly gives information about various cable car lines around Japan. The Ikoma line, first opened in 1918, is the top one. If you like this video, let me know if you think I should go take a look at some of these other lines, too. The second half of the line has one track, and again, two trains. They use the themes music and cake. I got Do Re Mi, the music car. The entire ride took about 16 minutes. Not only are train passes not accepted, but the gates at the top are as old school as it gets. An employee stands with a plastic tray and you drop your ticket in. Okay, the rumors were true. Here it is, the Ikoma Sanjo Amusement Park. So I think there is no admission to get into the park. It's free to walk around, but if you want to ride something, then you have to pay for that. I don't know if I'm going to ride anything today, but I probably will. So right now it's Wednesday morning, so all the kids are in school, and I was wondering who was going to be up here. 
The answer is not that many people. Uh, looks like there's a few families they might like be on vacation, so they're here. Mostly the staff at each like attraction or ride or whatever, kind of sitting around waiting for something to happen. But there are a few people doing stuff here. I want to go over here and see what the view looks like. See, see if I can see out over to Osaka City. Okay, here's the edge and you can see out over Osaka City. I guess from here, from the top of the mountain, you can see this is uh, Osaka and behind there somewhere, I guess you can see Nara. We'll check that out later, but here we go. Look at this hazy, unattractive city. If you live there, you think it's beautiful. If not, ugh. I brought my zoom camera to see if I could like pick stuff out from Osaka City. But it's so hazy, I don't know if that's possible. Well, let's see what I can find. What a difference the season makes. The picture on the sign, taken on a clear day, shows how you can actually see past Osaka to the city of Kobe and beyond, all the way to the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge, which I passed by on a couple recent train ride videos. In Osaka, there's also Abeno Harukas, Japan's tallest building. I could just about make it out today especially if I enhance the image a little. You know, I've been in Japan so long, I'm starting to miss the United States. Whatever am I to do? Wait, what's that? The Yukoma White House? You buy all the tickets for everything uh, individually here at this one of these ticket things that are placed around here. Or you can buy an all day pass for like 3,400 yen, I think, but I don't want to ride that many things. So here you go White House, one person, 300 yen. Okay. I really don't know what this White House is supposed to be. I think I'm just catching on to the fact that, like, part of it is kind of not a haunted house, but like a all the floors are uneven, so it's very disorienting. Are there actually kind of like wavering bridges in the actual White House in Washington, D.C.? This is very bizarre. And of course, the astronaut room, because USA, NASA. All right, I think that's about it for the White House. I've never been to the actual White House, but I imagine it's pretty much like this, right? I don't know what to say. I'm trying to be uh, charming and friendly, but I'm just kind of like, what, what, what was that? Well, that was interesting. That was cool. All right, what else? Now that I'm in the groove of riding stuff, 
I kind of want to go on this, what's it called? Puka Puka Panda. Puka Puka Panda. Okay, this is the life, the Puka Puka Panda. Look at the views you can get now. Okay, I see, I see Nara. Okay, the panda. All right, I checked my blood sugar while I was riding the little panda monorail car thingy around. It was extremely low. I've had juice and stuff, but it makes me wonder, maybe that White House thing, maybe the floors were all flat. It was just my, uh, my own discombobulation. <laughs> and of course, there are several vending machines up here. You got your uh, Coca-Cola and tea and water and all kinds of stuff, and right here, beer vending machine nothing but beer 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 quite pricey that's 600 yen that's about twice what it is in the convenience store for a 500 milliliter can there's a non-alcoholic beer and some lemon chew high for you but i'm gonna go see if i can find lunch up here there's something over here called the ikoma mountain view restaurant just the name makes me hungry Okay, got the fried shrimp curry and free water. Oh my. All right, I think I've gotten what I can out of the uh, Ikoma Sanjo amusement park. What a strange place. This little mountaintop village of rides with very few people here. See you next time. See you next time for the next adventure, whatever that's going to be.